Hi everyone and welcome back. So the next thing we are talking in the 12 factor app is the processes. How we can split the processes into stateless so they are not dependent on each other and you can you can isolate if you have any kind of a sub process. So for that uh, you can use PM2. It's uh, all about something like this. So Node.js runs on the process, right? So here let's say this is a Node.js. And if you want to have some kind of a worker process, then you can create a worker process. I mean, there are different ways of doing it. You can use a cluster module to create a child process, or you can use a PM2. PM2 is a Node.js process manager. You can using that you can actually create a multiple processes. So you can have one root process which is running your APIs and one there can be another sub process run, uh, being running through uh, PM2 only that will take care of maybe some sub process or some scheduler in the background. But both are independent. Okay. So how can we achieve that uh, using PM2? So what we can do is we can install PM2 and then we can have the processes. Okay. Then another thing is how we manage all those things. Okay. So PM2, what PM2 does? Using PM2 you can create a multiple instance of your even application also. So here let's say if I'm using PM2. Then you can decide, okay, you want to use two instances of your Node.js core instance. Let's say you are running on the multi-core system. Then you can create a two instance. Instance 1 and instance 2. And PM2, there is a child process or third-party process that also you can install. And that can be another independent instance because here there will be some child.js file which is starting this process so we can use pm2 to manage all those things you can manage the logs you can manage the uh, the health and all those things using pm2 commands so let's see that uh, here first of all i can install this globally pm pm add pm2 So what PM2 does and all those things, we can also install it globally. So we can uh, run the command globally. So pnpm, I will install that globally, something like this. pnpm I install minus zpm2 just to add this utility on the system. Okay, then if I want to do something like this PM to start minus I I think PM to start and then I can just do which node.js file we wanted to run this test server.js so what it does is it has started the instance here you can actually visit the logs Okay, because we are not uh, passing the MongoDB URI, so it is failing right now. So what we can do is first we need to set this uh, environment. So here I can create a script because PM2 I have installed already there. Here we can install PM2 start. And before doing that, we also need to set the environment. And here I can do npm run pm to start. <coughs> Script already launched with uh, okay pm to list. Maybe I need to kill this thing. pm to delete zero. And here I do PMD logs. Okay, then another thing is how to pass these environment variables to the PM2. 
there are a uh, couple of ways either you can export this globally Yeah, I need to delete this. Okay, the thing is when it is starting this, it doesn't, it is not able to get which environment files to pick. I mean, there are many fix. First we can do is in server.ts. Currently it is looking for node env. And somehow the node env is not available. If I just try to print it also here. process dot en process dot env dot node underscore env okay this is the variable we are using and if i just start this first delete this and if we can start pm to logs and that is coming undefined so that's a problem right because when the pm2 is starting how we can feed the environment variables so for that i think we have to use the pm2 config and launch the process so from the pm2 documentation this is what you can do i mean you can create uh, this ecosystem config.js file let's uh, add this in our code base And what this file will does here you will just tell okay how many instance you wanted to start what is the environment variable all the environment variable you will be passing somewhat here so okay my app name is uh, 12 factor app and the starting point of this app is dist server.js instance 2 cluster mode watch true increment port port is 3000 no dnv development let's try this now and once this file is there how you can start the application pm to start ecosystem config.js so go to your package json i can do simply like this and then pm to start maybe i need to delete the okay and I will just delete this instance which is on zero. Okay, I think now we are connected to the database because otherwise we would have seen some exceptions coming. These are just like a warning. So we are connected to database and there are two uh, instance. If you just see what all we are using PM to list. There are two instances, so similarly you can create a multiple instance that depends on uh, like uh, how many cores you have on your system. If there are like uh, four cores, you can easily run four uh, uh, four processes in the cluster mode, and they can run they can utilize your system optimally. Let's say you have a one container where your APIs are running. So how you can scale that? So we can also talk about scalability before let's say i'm using pm2 to deploy my application and then how how many instance i can create that depends on the scalability aspect so let's say here is your system maybe the aws platform and all and we can do two type of scaling of uh, AW, uh, node.js instances that depends on the how many core and memory because core is the processes and the memory is how much memory you need to run the process right so you can scale it two different ways horizontal scaling and the vertical scaling horizontal scaling is let's say i started adding uh, multiple instances okay this is aws1 then there is aws instance 2 and 3 and all are one core instance one core and 2 gb let's say What you can do is you can start a 1 pm2 instance on each and uh, every server. And then you can just put a load balancer or something. So that your traffic can be 
optimally access these instances application load balancer and you can talk to these instances so what you will call this is a horizontal scaling where you are actually increasing the number of instances currently we use mostly serverless and all the other containerized technologies but this is how we were doing the horizontal scaling where you are actually increasing the number of instances and when it comes to the vertical scaling we are trying to increase the capacity of just only one system here I will say okay I got uh, two cores and I will say 4 GB is a memory memory of the system and this is a two core what I can do is I can instantiate two PM2 processes here right because it's a two core so you can have a PM2 process 1 here and PM2 process 2 2 PM2 process and you don't need a load balancer you can just uh, send a traffic directly to this instance it will internally manages how to route the traffic to which instance that is done by the PM2 when the instance is set okay it divides the traffic into both the instances but here we are specifying the two instances of the same node.js process in the cluster mode so they both will run in the cluster mode and they will share the traffic so that is the vertical scaling by increasing the capacity of just a one system increasing the cores increasing the memory so that we uh, can do here like uh, I can create a four instance also instance four cluster mode and let's say if I do it will add two more you can see I'm doing instance four okay so 12 factor f i can just delete one and two and then let me start again pm2 list pm2 logs yes it is connected for all and pm2 monit These are some commands which can be used to monitor the traffic which is coming to these instances. Currently you can see the heap uses, memory uses, all these you can track from this. Let's see what all other important aspects of the PM2 because PM2 is giving you lots of options here inside these apps because why I'm talking about you can create a multiple apps. This is the one. let's say here I wanted to do v1 and this is v2 maybe I'm running the same process or a different here if you can run uh, let's say I have another child process dist child.js then you can run those in the cluster mode here what I'm doing now is I'm trying to run two type two type of applications I mean I don't have any other child.js so I'm trying to show you like I can have a two different applications and I can have their individual two instances pm to list pm to delete 0 1 pm to delete all should be there okay here I can just do pm to start So here you can see there are two applications are running in the cluster mode individually so v1 and the v2 that's important right so if you have any child process which you want to run in in the cluster mode you can specify the another application and you can also define how many instances you wanted to run for that application that will be executing maybe you have a child.js or something that we can take care so this is the the real importance of the pm2 and you can use this PM2 on at least on the, the system like you are deploying it to the EC, EC2 instance which is running 24 7 so you can use PM2 there to manage the logs to manage the, the process all those things which PM2 allows I mean PM2 also allows the key metrics and other uh, 
other tools using which you can actually monitor the PM2 processes 24 7. So these are all the different like how we are managing the processes. There are different commands. Configuration file, this is how we are configuring the ecosystem config. And you can do while deploying, you don't need to uh, restart it, you can just do a reload. So it will reload all the instances with the new code after deployment. So PM2 start only particular application, system config, cluster mode, this is how we run the cluster mode, right? So in Node.js also we have a cluster module. So it is just going to run all these processes in the cluster mode. PM2 has static server, deployment system, you can create uh, this ecosystem config. This is deployment options and all and you can also have a docker integrations monitoring PM2 monit is something. This is actually used for monitoring the tool and exposing the metrics. I think there is a key metrics tool is there. This is going to expose uh, the, the metrics about the API. I mean you can just do uh, some kind of a health check. TX2 module is there. So it's really important I used to use this before I move to serverless to manage the, the processes to monitor them and all those things you can just see the pm2 is really powerful tool uh, to, to be used when you wanted to divide your application into multiple processes which can run individually okay that's all about uh, how we manage the child processes now in the next video we will talk about uh, concurrency right i mean the scaling out model we have already seen how you can scale out uh, by having a different processes and by having a different set of instances based on the the core i mean how many core you have for the system where the node js is running